What's up y'all, it's Melina. Today I wanted to do this video. It's not really as much as a review of the Kylie Jenner lip kits as much as it is my personal feelings and opinions towards this one shade. It's kind of on the negative side of a review and I personally don't really like doing negative reviews because I really just appreciate cosmetics and all the hard work that goes into cosmetics but I feel like with this product a lot of people or I wouldn't say getting scammed but just bamboozled we're getting bamboozled no um i wouldn't say any like scammed but it's just really a waste of money that i don't want anyone out there who's like on the fence about getting it to spend their hard-earned money on this product that's just not really worth the hype so flashback flashback to about 2013 when kylie's lips were the spectacle of conversation and hollywood and everyone just wanted the color she was using um, that's back when she was like on that whole. Oh, this is just liner. Oh, this is just liner. But oh, this is just liner. But oh, this is just liner. But we all know it wasn't liner. Like, girl, who you lying to? So, when she would announce her Mac colors that she would be using, I was obsessed with her and her lip colors. So, and everyone else was too, because when I went down to Mac, the second she said it, they were sold out. So when I heard that she was going to be la launching her own cosmetics line and her own lip kits in, I think it was like November or December, I was very excited and I was so ready for this. I was going to be her biggest friend. We were going to be best friends. The whole thing was going to happen. We were going to be besties. And first launch happens and honestly, I'm kind of glad that I didn't get them the first launch because i've seen that like they changed the formula a little bit and they changed the packaging and i really love the current packaging of the lip kit itself so i'm glad i didn't get the first one and also i just kind of wanted to scope the pricing and what people really had to say about it second time i didn't get it because i wasn't about to camp out on the interweb to get this lip kit so third time still didn't get it fourth time still didn't get it like surprise surprise at this point right and fifth time i think this is like the time after valentine's day the valentine's day launch when she launched posey k i finally got my hands on that bad boy and it came in the mail about five days later which isn't bad considering i only paid 9.99 shipping so i wasn't frustrated with that i was cool and i was real excited for this and then it comes in this box that everyone's seen with the white drips and on the inside it says Kylie and KylieCosmetics.com on the top and recently she changed her drips to the outside or from the outside to the inside of the box which honestly I don't think it was a good business move but as far as like the safety of the product and how it gets to the consumer it probably was smart because we got some swipers out there who need to rewatch Dora because swiper no swiping we all know like that's just not cool so if it's just an all black box that's better for the consumers because I think it's more safe next um, on the inside it came with the lip kits on and, and then like a foam thing on top and then the infamous card with the white lips and the back info thing whatever if you haven't seen this card, you've been living in a cave, you I don't you must be dead for the past year because this card, everyone's seen it at this point, and everyone's heard what it what it says. But you know what? I'm gonna read it again just because why not? Thank you so much for purchasing your Kylie lip kit. I hope you enjoy using it as much as I enjoy creating it. I put my heart and soul into each and every kit. Okay. And I want to thank you for joining me on my journey, XOXO, Kylie. So, I'm thinking this girl, she put her heart and soul into it. She says it, she must mean it. I believe her. I'm going to get all of these shades, every color. Like I said, we were going to be BFFs for life. Best friends. So the colors I end up getting are Mary Jo K, Dolce K, Candy K, Posey K, and Court K. Dun, dun, dun. Court K, Court K, Court K. This color makes me so mad because I was very excited to open it and try it on and I just was ready. I was so excited for it to look great. I, I've seen it on Kylie. It looked great. It just, I was real excited for it. Um, this was the fifth color that I tried on because I had been doing like one day Dolce, one day candy and so on and so forth. Um, so I was, all the other colors I had been 
very happy with um, and I had fallen in love with Dolce K so I was expecting a lot from this color and maybe that's why I was let down so easily but for the price if I could go back in time like hop in my time machine I would not purchase this again I would I wouldn't purchase it the first time I wouldn't purchase it next week not last week not last year I would never purchase this again um, so I open it and I, my lips are very moisturized mind you like I have a real big issue with dry lips so like I have Vaseline on before I even get started so I line my lips with the liner and the liners I don't really have much of an issue with I think they're pretty basic liners I like them better than the MAC liners I'll give her that but I think they're pretty basic liners nothing too special about them um, so here's the liquid lipstick and for the price, okay, if I received this lipstick from like um, Sally's or Walmart or even like the dollar store for a real cheap price, like maybe even like $4, I wouldn't be as mad as I am about it. But since I paid $30, it just really makes me mad, especially when I found out that she makes her lip kits in the same factory that ColourPop makes their liquid lipsticks. So it just kind of infuriated me a little bit. Like you're using the same machinery as them. You're probably have the same formula you just added some vanilla whoop de doo so what you added vanilla like I'm paying $30 for some vanilla like no and from a consumer point of view it's really frustrating to have to spend that much on a lipstick but from Kylie's point of view like girl you're grinding like I see you I see your grind and honestly, I appreciate the grind. And if you're putting out a good product, then do you all day. Sell them for $30. Do what you want. As you can see, I've already swatched this. in Because I've already tried to refilm this like a million times already. But it just wasn't coming out how I wanted it to. So we're back again. We're back here. So there they are. This right here is two applications of the color. This right here is four applications of the color. Four applications, barely any pressure, and look how we can use it on this side where it's clean. And look how streaky it is. Barely any pressure going on there. And this right here, two times. Like, are you joking? Two times, and it's that transparent, like you can see through the skin. That's not a product that I'm gonna pay thirty dollars for. I, it's just, it's kind of, it's a ripoff. I don't respect it. It's two times two times and it already feels so dry it's real drying for your lips so let me tell you the story story time I go to put it on and I'm real excited and I see how splotchy it is like it's real splotchy when you put it on the first time as you can see considering this is two times it's real splotchy as it's dark right there and then it's light right there so it's real splotchy and I'm thinking okay it's kind of I can just build it then because like the other colors I didn't have this issue with at all like not even close to at all and I put on three coats and it's still splotchy. So I add another one and my lips just feel really caked on, baked on, crusty, dusty, untrusty. And um, so I go to school that day and then I eat at lunch and this stuff streaks even more than the red one does everywhere. I wasn't even expecting it. I mean, I was being real careful with it as I normally am with my other lipsticks when I wear them, but it's just I wasn't expecting this much to streak off. So then I go into the bathroom and my lips are feeling so dry and crusty like that one girl, you remember that one episode of Spongebob where the girl, like, it was like Ninja Mountain or something like that and the girl was all crusty on the lips and they all fell off? That's how I felt. I'll, I'm gonna insert a picture right here. That was already no bueno so I try to give it the benefit of the doubt and I'm thinking well maybe I'll just add another coat on because I had had splotching already and I had like holes straight holes in the lipstick coverage where it wasn't just like a thin layer of purple and then the thick layer of purple where it's splotchy it was like literal holes where you could see nothing but my natural lip and then the purple so I just I didn't like that at all I would if I paid four dollars for that and it was like that I would be really I would be mad so $30 makes me irate like why I'm just warning you guys don't pay for this product it really it's not good I don't like it 
um so then in the bathroom i'm thinking let me try to save this because i had already put another coat on that was like my sixth coat at that point and it was just real cakey and still real splotchy and it just it wasn't what i wanted it to be or what i expected it to be especially from kylie and how esteemed of a celebrity she is so I go and in desperate times they call for desperate measures like don't judge me but I had to get that paper towel and some water and I was trying to scrub that off I was scrubbing for like about 15 minutes and it still wouldn't come off so it's really irritating to me how when you don't want it to come off it comes off so easily but when you want it to come off it won't come off here's my issue with Kylie cosmetics as like a company and an incorporation on the website it does warn like no refunds and stuff like that but why should it be no refunds like that's just not good customer service it's either like you think your product's so good that no one's gonna need a refund which is just really conceited to think or it's you know your product's so bad that you're just in it for the money and you're like you don't want to give people their refunds so either way whichever way their thought process was going I don't appreciate it I don't agree with it I think there should be refunds put in place. Um, you guys have probably seen the Jeffree Star video where he got real, he was just irritated as uh, anyone else would be about the Kylie Jenner lip glosses, how they came looking like that troll doll head. Like, come on. My Barbies had better hair, better looking hair than that lip gloss had like a, an applicator. That applicator was not laid in any sort of way. It was real bad. And it took a big celebrity like that to get some sort of refunds going and it, I wonder if he would have never said anything and it was just customers saying something would she had act, like would she have done something about it customer service why do you have a customer service line when nobody getting served ain't nobody getting served there's no point no customer is getting served by your customer service line so just cut it off there's no point so there's my frustration with the company. I feel like there's a lot of deception going on with the company and how they're advertising it. And I really just don't respect that. Um, I'm sorry for the real negative review, but I just don't want anyone to spend their hard-earned money on this product that's just not as good as it is hyped to be. And also, make sure you like, comment, subscribe about this video. And like just comment your experience with the company if you have bought any shades that you just don't really like or that have been bad products comment down below yeah, i hope you guys have a blessed week and hopefully my next video won't be as negative as this one so yeah have a blessed week i'll see you guys in my next one